If you are related to electronics in some way, your first encounter with an LED was most probably when you started to learn a microcontroller. Remember what we did. We chose a resistor to limit the current flowing, loaded the program and watched the LED blink. While this worked seamlessly for our baby steps of learning a microcontroller, this method may cause some problems in some of the various applications of LEDs. In this video, we will see the driving methods of LEDs, constant voltage and constant current, and which is preferred when. Let's start with the method that we are most familiar with, constant voltage. In constant voltage, LEDs are powered with a constant voltage source, like a battery for example. This method is suitable for low power applications, such as indicator LEDs you see everywhere, from your router to your TV. What is the problem if you need higher power? Here, in this circuit, the LED is powered with constant voltage, with the current limited by a 120 ohm resistor. Initially, the voltage on the resistor is 2.462 volts, which corresponds to 20.5 mA. Let's wait for a while and see what happens. After half an hour, I have another measurement. This time though, the voltage is increased somehow, and the current has risen to 20.8 mA mysteriously. What is going on? To identify the problem, let's remember what an LED is. The LED is a light emitting diode. Diode is a semiconductor, and semiconductors are known to conduct current better when heated. The problem is, when more current flows through the LED, the LED will heat even more. If the heat is not properly removed from the system, this quickly becomes a vicious cycle and the LED will be overdriven. In the worst case, it will fail, or its lifetime will decrease. This phenomenon is known as thermal runaway. To avoid this problem, constant current sources are used. One of the easiest ways to implement constant current is to use a linear current regulator. In this example, it is the LM317IC. Here, as you see, with the most basic configuration, it just needs the resistor to adjust the current and operate. This simplicity comes with a price though. LM317 has a considerable minimum voltage drop between its input and output. Moreover, because it's a linear regulator, the power wasted on it will be the voltage difference between its input and output times the current flowing through it. Due to this, it gets real hot in high current applications, limiting the current that can pass through it. For higher power lighting applications, we need a more efficient solution, switching regulators. A constant current switching regulator regulates the output by checking it in operation. This can be done by placing a low resistance, high power rated current sense resistor. The voltage and resistor will be proportional to the current that flows through it. The regulator controller will compare it with the reference voltage, and when it falls under a threshold, it lets more current into the system by turning the transistor fully on. I finished my video with a wonderful slide from All Semiconductors Resource on Constant Current Regulators. The link to the full training is in the description. Thank you for watching my video. If it was helpful, please don't forget to like and share, and subscribe for more videos. Have a good day.